Some new inter interrogation videos reveal how Gloria Williams explained having a baby that wasn't hers. And for the first time, we're hearing from those closest to the kidnapping suspect, her parents. Julia Janae live in the studio with more. Anthony, these videos could be used as evidence in Gloria Williams's trial that is currently set for Monday. In the police reports and audio and video we obtained, witnesses told detectives that Williams had been pregnant and suffered a secret miscarriage, so they thought nothing of it when she brought home a new baby girl. I know that day I call her at work. This is the voice of Gloria Williams' mother, Gloria Brown. Williams' parents are speaking with police just before their daughter is arrested. And she came home with the baby. I said, but how did you come home and nobody didn't drive you home? She said she told me she got someone to bring. That she, they came to pick her up, and, they, and uh, that's how she came home. The Browns told detectives their daughter didn't have many close friends, and at the time of her pregnancy, she was in an abusive relationship. I had to get the police to get him out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Gloria's current husband of five years, Winowski Williams, a different man, told police he slowly became aware of his stepdaughter's true identity over two years ago. I knew, as I said, I knew something was going on because, you know, just by me looking at her eyebrow, it was thicker than Gloria's on. Winowski's daughter and Gloria's stepdaughter, Erica, learned about the abduction from Kamaya herself two years ago after the teen ran into problems proving her identity for work. She wants to go to school. She wants to get a job. You know, she wants to do stuff, but it's like now she, she just on stuck. She can't do anything. Put these on after these problems. interviews, Gloria <laughs> Williams would be taken into custody in Walterboro, South Carolina. In nearly identical nightcaps, she says goodbye to the team with two names. Now, Gloria Williams is set to have her final pretrial tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. We have more of this video on our website at firstcoastnews.com. Heather, back to you.